The script setup is a different way to use the Composition API in Components. Basically, we don't need to use the config object and its setup option. We can opt into the script setup by adding the setup property to the script blocks tag. We can also use it in combination with the regular script block. One of the great things about the script setup is that we need a lot less boilerplate. Let's consider a simple example. It defines a ref in the setup option, returns it, and renders it in the template. Let's remove the entire block and create a script setup above the template. Inside it, all we need to do is import the ref and define a name with it. If we take a look in the browser, it renders the name, so the result is the same as the setup option. As for components, they only need to be imported to be available, we don't have to register it like we did before. As an example, we've created a greeting message component with a heading to help identify it. Let's import it in the script and create an instance in the template. It should be noted that we have to add file extensions when we're using Vite. It's not like the CLI that understood different file types with Webpack. We're also using the at symbol as an alias to the source folder. You can still use standard directory navigation if you like. All right, if we run the example in the browser, it renders the greeting message like we expect. With the script setup, we define props inside the define props macro. It takes an object as argument, where we define the prop and its type as a key value pair. To demonstrate, let's define two props in our greeting message component and render them in the template. In the root app component, we'll define a ref with a name. Then we'll add the two props on the instance in the template, just like we normally would. If we run the example in the browser, we'll see the first and last name. With the script setup, we define events with the define emits macro. It takes an array of events in string format as its argument. The event itself is also sent through a custom function. To demonstrate, let's define a greeting event that gets emitted when the user clicks a button. In the root app component, we'll listen for the event and just invoke a function that shows an alert. If we run the example and click the button, it'll show the alert. To send data with an event, we add it as the second parameter. As an example, let's add a name to the event and greeting message. In the root app component, We'll accept the data in the custom function and use it in the alert. When we run the example and click the button, it shows the greeting with the name. If we want to request data asynchronously from a service, we can use the await keyword. When a component uses await, it must be instantiated in a suspense tag in the parent. This allows Vue to take care of resolving the asynchrony and load the component properly. To demonstrate, let's fetch a random Chuck Norris joke in the greeting component. We'll store the response in a ref, then render it in the template. In the root app component, we'll import greeting message and add an instance of it in suspense tags. If we head over to the browser, we see the joke, so everything works like we expect. Alright, that's it for the script setup. In the next lesson, we'll learn the new state management system, Pina. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.